Hey friends, Wayne over here at the Ram Man Inc. Don't forget the ink. World famous and brake component rebuilder, Mopar, Chrysler, Ford, world famous lock and hub designer, lock and hubs, modern modern trucks. Right here what we have is we have got a Midland Ross booster and the classic double hump master cylinder used on a whole bunch of Mopars in the 60s. This is it. This is often referred to as a single diaphragm, which means it's a single booster, single diaphragm Midland Ross. This was coupled to used in drum brake systems. It was used on the A body, it was used on the B body, and it was used on the C body to some limited extent. And then it went on into the 70s on the E bodies and the B bodies. So this is a classic, can't get them anymore. These folks right here, cars, they do a lot of first class restorations. You'd be surprised about how many components that I don't see from restoration shops. Obviously, these people know what they're doing. They wanted to get this original booster all redone, get it replated. He's got his tag on him. He's not a perfect can, but he's pretty nice. And, of course, matching it with the double hump master cylinder. You got a lot of you Mopar guys, of course you don't, it's hard to find them anymore because all the originals are gone. So that was your typical brake system of your drum brake Mopars on both the A body, the B body, and the C bodies. So a lot of you have seen these double humps. I rep reproduced these in 2012 and 13 so when they came out, 13 and 14. So it's a nice looking setup. So what we're going to do right now though is we're just going to check and make sure. I don't know if you've ever pulled a booster before, but yanking one in and out on a Mopar is not the funnest experience that there is. And you damn sure don't want to bolt one in and then it not work. Now I'm speaking from experience in high school. That's one of the times when I almost took the ball peen hammer. I was trying to change a booster out on a Friday afternoon. All my friends coming over at 6 o'clock because we're going to get beer load up in that 69 gigs and we're going to go down to Forest Lane in Dallas, raise hell, street race, and uh, go home sloppy drunk. Anyway, I was under the pressure. I wish I'd known that it wasn't going to work before I put it in. So. We're going to test this and we're going to make sure. Of course, you can use this procedure basically to uh, check any booster. That reminds you on your check valves, if you want to do a, a check on your check valve, you should be able to, what we call, suck blow. You can suck, but you can't blow. That's one way out. We don't want no shit leaking out after we've sucked down 20 inches of vacuum. Right? So, let's hook. So you'll notice that a booster without any vacuum is extremely hard to operate. It's nearly impossible. You'll basically push that rod through the palm of your hand. But if you apply some vacuum multiplied by the size of the diameter, that's why you get about a, it's probably about a 50 to 1. So, let's start her up doing this field test. Of course, he's already been tested. Uncle Ron tested him. So. There's the action. You see it's very smooth. I can do it with the palm of my hand. You see the master cylinder push rod. It's extremely smooth. I can actually take one finger and operate it because I'm under vacuum. So, it's smooth. 
it rebounds all the way it doesn't self apply so now we're going down the highway and this old 318 just backfired and shut off and in theory this can should hold the vacuum for a short period of time so that somebody when the motor shut off going down the highway they can actually make a stop that's what that vacuum reserve is all about so we've checked the action now we're going to check the reserve we should have at least one maybe two brakes in this thing one two three you see it was slow on rebound that means the vault the vacuum has been depleted 100 percent here you go my friends super fine booster and master cylinder going on this old mopar done by cars this is an outfit that's doing their shit right god bless you god bless america and happy moparn bye